everyone welcome to the video i'm amy and i post three videos a week i post a lot of three-day foundation wear tests full face first impressions full face one brand things like that if that sounds like something you're interested in go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out today's video is going to be a full face of armani beauty i've got basically the whole neo nude collection here we've got the neo nude foundation the Neo Nude Ecstasy Lip Balm and the Neo Nude Air Blush, I think is what it's called. Um, and then I have the Eye Tint and the Eyes to Kill, as well as the Lip Maestro and this lovely little mini. And then I have some free items that we're going to talk about as well that I picked up when I got my purchase, I got a whole like, free little goodie bag, including this little lipstick. But yeah, I don't want to talk about all these products right now. I want to talk about these products in the video. So I'm going to shut up now and we're going to go ahead and get into it. Sorry if my cheeks are a little red. It is hot in here. Before I start putting this stuff on, I wanted to mention that what I purchased was $100 and $42 and that's with taxes, shipping, everything. $142. Everything was 25% off and I got a special like gift set that is worth literally so much money. Yeah, it was called the Thanksgiving bundle, the thing that I got. And it's like worth like $100 itself. Um, so I got like basically a full face and some skincare and perfume nuts. So I've got the Armani C perfume, which so many people talk about this. It's not my favorite kind of scent, but I don't hate it. I don't know. I'll have to spray it and see how my body reacts to it. I'm not going to do it now because then I will just be sneezing because I sneeze every time I spray any kind of perfume or cologne, but I wanted to mention that came with it. I've got all of these little minis so i've got armani men face wash moisturizer and toner supreme reviving light cream which i didn't find on the website when i looked it up when i looked up light cream it was like sorry nothing here and i'm like okay well why'd you give me samples of it then and then a hydrating primer base a like mini of the light cream as well not on their website don't know what it claims don't know how much it is I got their eye cream which is two hundred and ten dollars an ounce and I've got it for free 0.17 ounces so that's pretty good and then I got their day-long skin perfector for trouble zones uh, I got five mils of this and this is meant to be like an oil preventing kind of primer I believe or not just primer, but it would probably be good for primer. And then the Aqua Pantelleria Antioxidant Treatment Lotion. One fluid ounce of this for free. And this is like over $100 for five ounces. I think it's like $150 for five ounces. I wrote down the notes, but my notes are all the way over there. I'm already sweaty from setting up. <laughs> oh, and I also got a mini of the Lip Maestro Intense Velvet Color in 501 so all of that stuff was completely free and they actually let you use two codes so in order to get that free gift basket you had to put like a code some word i don't remember what the word was into the code but i had already put a word in there to the, get to get the 25 percent off so i had two codes in there and they both worked so just fyi if you're shopping on there try to use multiple codes. While we start talking about the rest of this, I'm gonna go ahead and put on this little sample of the Luminous Silk Hydrating Primer Base. Okay, it actually doesn't really have too much of a smell, which I'm surprised about because high-end stuff usually has like a high-end smell. It feels really nice. It feels kind of like silky almost. I did not pick up a concealer, but they did give me this lovely little pat little thingy of concealer so this is the luminous silk concealer uh multi-purpose glow concealer i got shade 2 5.5 8 and 14 obviously 2 is gonna be my best bet before the foundation i did pick up the neo nude true to skin natural glow foundation 
I got the shade 1.5. I haven't opened this. I don't know what it looks like. But I know the Luminous Silk is like the one that people have raved about for years and years. But I've also heard people talk highly about this one. And this one just like the description just seemed much more up my alley. So I was like, if I'm going to buy a full size of a foundation, I might as well choose the one that I would actually want and buy. You know what I mean? This packaging is really pretty. So I've got 1.5 in that and 2 in the concealer. Hopefully it works out. Ooh. Okay, I like the way this feels. It feels almost like a, like a gel. So here. Don't know if you can see that looking kind of yellow but i like the texture it feels like it's going to be really hydrated yeah it's lighter than the foundation the shade two and the luminous silk concealer at least swatched on my hand is lighter than 1.5 in the neo nude <laughs> That spread out far it didn't dry down too quickly for me to work with that looks so nice actually yeah it looks super it looks glowy lo luminous almost you know like it looks really thin and I feel like the coverage is pretty good I like that I don't need to buy another concealer but I like it all right let's get into this I wiped off my hand so my hand is nice and bare again and let's put some on the back of it and I'm not squeezing this. It's literally just comes out like, like it's too full. Um, I'm going to just use my sponge today because I'm not doing like a full foundation review. I will not be able to wear test this since it's already four o'clock. Um, if you guys want to see a full three day wear test on this, let me know down below. And if you like three day foundation wear test, subscribe. Okay, let's go. Oh, okay. Hold on. First of all, can you even see that? I don't think it shows up as yellow on the camera as it looks in person, but it looked really yellow. It's blending in though. I'd say that looks really good. Look at that texture on my skin. It looks really nice. It looks thin, but hydrated, not just glowy, but like actually hydrated. Hmm. Oh, let me just give you a side by side. I feel like it has pretty good coverage, maybe like a like a medium. I could still see freckles through it, um, but it did knock down my redness quite a lot and it evened out my skin tone. I think the color works really well for me. I would say there's like a little bit of gathering around my nose, but like a very little bit. Let me go ahead and give you a zoom in. looks really good I've got a cream blush Let's see this one they call it the a blush professional liquid face blush I got the shade 32 so this is what the blush looks like a cute little doe foot let's go ahead and get a swatch okay it looks so this doe foot is kind of like a sponge almost and this, what I'm seeing in the viewfinder, it reminds me kind of more of like a stain or something. It's like very sheer wash of color. Cute, cute. That's a really pretty color, I think. Okay, so I guess I'm going to, since the applicator is a sponge and it blended out really well, I'm gonna just go ahead and use my sponge instead of reaching for a brush. Um, at least this time when I'm trying it, so going to Okay, I was kind of scared there would be like little dots left on my face, but there weren't they blended out Really nicely. This is like a Perfect like this is my actual redness. This is the blush. It's like a perfect Color you know what I mean to where if my makeup did wear off it would wear off and like look so natural. So I'm bring it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. 
I don't have bronzer or anything on, obviously. Not yet, but I wanted to see this color in, in its full glory. I think the finish of it is beautiful. It melts right into that foundation so seamlessly. I think it looks beautiful. Wow! Just what I needed in my collection. More cream and liquid blushes. It's an interesting formula because of how like red and pigmented it looks right away but how it blends in so nicely like i don't know interesting but as you can see because it caught my knuckle here i think it would kind of cling if you had a dry patch or a healing acne or something like that i feel like it would cling because like that's not blending you know all right i'm gonna go off camera and I'm going to do my brows and my bronzer and I will be right back. Alright, so I'm back and I have brows on and I have bronzer on and now my blush has kind of disappeared um, in all of that movement and action. I did powder like a little bit directly underneath my eyes. Before I put more blush on, I actually would have put on one of the lip products because it's supposed to be like hydrating so this is their ecstasy balm beautifying lip enhancer and it looks like a beautifying lip enhancer and I, I have these dry lips right now so um i have what did i already say they have the shade one i don't know <laughs> here's what it looks like it's a really pretty package pretty much same um you know uh, branding packaging coloring because it is part of the neo nude collection So yes, this is just like a, a lip balm. It is very thin. I don't smell anything, but on my lips, it tastes perfumey. That's so weird. I don't smell anything. But I can taste perfume. I don't think it's a, I think it's perfume. It has fragrance in it. Why would you put fragrance that I can't smell, but I can taste in it? Oh, I don't know. I like the way it looks. I like the way it feels. It feels like a very thin, like an oil instead of more, instead of a balm. It's not as like thick as a balm. There's no pool to it. You know, when you like, it's very slippy. And I think it's, it's really pretty. Um, obviously it doesn't give me any lip color. So I am going to use the one that I got for free for my actual lip color, but I thought it'd be nice to like prepare my lips. Um, but even though I like how it feels on my lips and the effect, I think it's a really pretty effect, the way that it tastes, I don't know if I would be able to wear that again. Mm, that's kind of disappointing, but let's forget about that for a moment and get into the eyes. So I picked up two eye products. I picked up the Eye Tint Chrome in shade 41 fusion liquid metallic eye color and it has see it has the original kind of armani packaging is this beautiful warm mm, coppery bronzy situation so i thought it would go nicely with the blush that i got and it would be like a nice monochromatic moment and then i picked up also one of their eyes to kill um stellar bouncy high pigment eye colors this is the shade two halo and, and this one is not as warm toned it's a little bit more of like a neutral cool tone moment like a taupey i love that color wow okay looking at it before i touched it i thought it was gonna be like a really dry pressed glitter kind of feeling but look at how creamy <gasps> oh yes oh that's gorgeous oh wow okay it actually qu reminds me quite a bit of the oryx smoke reflex but like mixed not separate like it's got like the cream part but this is a lot thinner it's not like as much of a cream um, and then the sparkle part. So um, let me let me swatch the other eyeshadow on here as well. So it's got like almost like a lipstick, and it's quite thick and moussey. So this is the Eyes to Kill in Halo, 
and it has tons of glitter in it as you can see the big reflect this is a bit more of like a metallic base with tiny tiny little bit of glitter this is a mole so don't worry about that but you know here is my best interpretation of those colors i think what i'll do is put on a little bit more blush first and then make my decision and i'm going to take a little bit of the shade 41 and i'm going to put the pigment towards the lash line and the mobile lid and then try to blend it out Alright, I would say that gives you enough blend to where you don't have an extremely hard edge, but it's not really blending like the way that the Auric um, cream parts do. I wouldn't recommend to do it like this. I would recommend to put something in your crease and then use this as kind of like the main attraction, you know? So, I am going to grab... I would use bronzer, but I just don't think bronzer is going to do enough for this, so I'm going to grab my Nabla palette. Okay, so there is that but I do want to put this on it <laughs> so I'm gonna put it like in the center uh, it's quite subtle I think you can tell because it changes kind of like the overall undertone since the this shade is very warm and this is neutral I don't know I think both products are really really pretty and I think I could definitely see myself using this in like an everyday basis, but this will be like when I'm going for like a dark, smoky, grungy situation like I had right before I put this on it. <laughs> now, let me put on mascara and then we will put on this lip product. By the way, I can't taste this very much anymore, so I might still use it. But man, it was very off-putting in the beginning. So hold on, let me put mascara on. All right. I have wiped off the lip and put mascara on. I was like, what the heck did I tell you <laughs> that I was doing? I put on mascara, that's what I did. So let's try out this Lip Maestro Intense Velvet Color in 501. Yep, that's all the description it gives. I'm guessing it's going to be a matte lipstick. It's a cute little mini. Swatch it. It looks like a pinky purple. It actually looks kind of like the shade... Uh, of the elf sponge but the formula feels kind of nice not too it doesn't feel too dry it kind of blended out quite nicely there so let's let's try it That actually feels really nice. It feels more like a lipstick, but it does have like almost a, a powder finish to it, but it's still moving around with my lips. Like when I go, it's moving with my lips. I feel like the color may not exactly go with this look, but it is a very pretty color. I like it. What do you think? What do you think? I think the formula is really nice. I'm actually super surprised that I like this because I thought it was going to be like a liquid lipstick. I mean, it might dry down. We'll give it some time. But I think it's very pretty. I think it's pretty. Um, I'm going to zoom out, give this a second to dry down, and then we will talk about my final thoughts on everything. Um, it's been a couple minutes, and I took a drink and spilled some of it down my chin. <laughs> so... There's that. The makeup's still here. I did not powder my makeup. I'm wearing cre all creams and liquids. And I didn't powder anything. I think it looks really good. Um, the lip, it 
is not a liquid it's like a li- a lipstick that is liquid but it's not a liquid lipstick you know what i mean it feels much more like a lipstick thin movable it's got a little bit of powderiness to it but it definitely is not something that is going to dry down and be kiss proof in any way so let me look at look up a little closer in my face real quick the foundation looks really good it still is like you know just like a little bit not my favorite around my nose but it's honestly not bad compared to a lot of things that i've tried um but it is a really nice like thin hydrating formula it feels really comfortable on my skin the eyes i love these eye products i love these eyes the napple palette yes i did use it for the mattes but i think the show of it is those two other eye products i think they're really 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 pretty Ooh, i love i love this kind of like everyday smoky situation love it so foundation yes the concealer yeah i like the concealer i don't know if i would pick it up i already have too many concealers i honestly don't need another one i honestly don't need another one Telling myself, telling you, telling myself, telling you, telling myself, and telling you. Don't need another concealer, but I do like the concealer. I like the um, Neo Nude uh, foundation. The This lip, I like this lip formula. I really do. I think I probably would have chosen a different color, either chosen a red or chosen something that was a little bit more nude on me. This kind of like rosy in the middle situation is not really my vibe for most of the time um but i don't know if you can tell but it is losing some of its pigment it does seem to well i did kiss some of it off i guess but i feel like it would be something that doesn't kind of wear messily but it slowly fades on your lips almost like a stain so i'm interested to see how that goes um the blush i feel like i can't it worked with the foundation i like how well it blended out how easily it blended out but did it disappear or does it just look that natural on me? And I, I applied it multiple times. You, you saw me, I applied a lot. So I'm gonna have to mess around with that. It didn't do anything negative. I just don't know if it did enough to warrant its price, you know? Um, what else? <sighs> the lip balm, I'm really disappointed that they put that fragrance in there. I think it's a really, really, lovely formula a very thin like oil i don't know i think it was so comfortable and lovely and it has a i don't magnetic closure which is chef's kiss love that but the fragrance that i can't smell i can only taste and it definitely tastes like old lady makeup i don't like to say that but it tastes very like perfumey musky like ooh. I don't know. I did not like it. So I don't know if I'll reach for it. Obviously, like maybe at the end of the month or the end of next month, we'll see if I reach for it or not. Um, I will put it out to where I can reach for it, but we'll we'll see if it becomes something that I use. Um, and then obviously we'll see like if it does anything positive or negative to my lips. But yeah, those are my overall thoughts on everything Armani Giorgio Armani, Giorgio Armani, I don't know how you say it, Giorgio Armani, so sorry, I'm sorry to everyone that I have offended in this video, but, uh, yeah, full face, basically, of Giorgio Armani beauty, um, that's all I have for you guys today, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, it helps me out so much, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video, bye!